Sugar Cube, the video directed by Phil Morrison from Yellow Tango's new album, I Can Hear the Heart Beating as One. The record's gotten rave reviews from Rolling Stone, Spin, and Entertainment Weekly. And we'll have a live performance by Yola Tango in a bit. The drums are set up there just on the other side of the camera. But first, let's meet the band. Ira Kaplan, Georgia Hubley, who happened to be husband and wife, and James McNew, who isn't married to either of them, I understand. But that's, that's okay. The, the thing I love about this video, though, is all the rock references in there. I mean, did you grow up, you know, reading the Led Zeppelin fine print and the oh, sure, album and stuff sure. like that? What, what are your favorite? What are your, you know, not influences, because I hate that. It's been magazine. But what, what did you used to listen to? Uh, I, I, I think I still listen to everything I used to listen to, which, you know, could go I wouldn't, I wouldn't call that fully responsive, <laughs> but... Uh, uh, heck, uh, I'm, not a, I'm, I'm not ashamed. I listen to Thin Lizzy. I yes. Have, I, I, have, I, still, I still have, you know, my, uh, my Hughes Corporation 45s. So I'll listen to those oh, God, any day. That's great. I have you, no problem with that. You grew up in an animation household, right? Uh -huh. Which is a childhood fantasy of mine. I mean, I always wanted to, like, you know, <laughs> like, live with my dad drawing, like, Mickey Mouse and stuff like that. Uh -huh. In your case, it was Mr. Magoo, right? Um, well, not exactly. I mean, that was that my dad worked on Mr. Magoo. That was way before I was born. By the time I was around, um, my... He was drawing you. He was drawing me. <laughs> oh, oh, that's cute. Um, the pressure to draw, or did you go into music just to get away from that? Uh, no, I was pretty interested in art. I actually went to art school for a while, <laughs> and it wasn't until I was, you know, well into my teens that, or I guess playing my tw early 20s, I started getting interested in music. So tell me about the whole idea of uh, this album. What did you set out to accomplish on this album, and how do you feel about it? Well, I mean, I, I know it just sounds like I'm being evasive. No, but no I, well, I, I'm not going to hammer you anymore. We set out to do anything. I think, you know, we, we tried to do nothing more than something that we like. And, and I think it's interesting for us when we don't have an end point that we're shooting for, but just kind of allow ourselves to be sort of intrigued and follow, follow it along as, as much as we can. Although I sense a, a kind of a, there's a bleakness on, on this album. There's a kind of a, uh, I don't know, sort of spookiness about the voice on this album that is not something I'd associate with you guys. You feeling mm. a little weird about the turn of the century? <laughs> <laughs> um, no. Oh, no. Actually, I'm glad, I'm glad you picked up on that. Yeah? Good. Thank you. See that? Um, See, now he knows how to do, how to behave. So how, where, do, where do we get Yola Tango? I think you told me this story the last time uh, uh, we talked on the air. If I still. did, I regret it, because we, uh, we wanted a name that, that wasn't going to really mean anything, and I made the mistake of explaining it a few times, and I wish I never had. Um, I, th I think we liked it's the molecular structure of crystal and plutonium, correct? Yeah. Yeah. So, you know, we like, we like phrases that sound evocative without necessarily meaning anything. I think the title of our new record is kind of the same way. But it is. Yola Tango is what the shortstop for the Mets would scream when a ball was coming at him, right? <laughs> right. Let's be real. You know, Let's maybe not. It. It, it was an anecdote from a book, but whether it's true or not, I don't know. Yeah. I'm not sure I believe yeah. it. Uh, so, how does your music differ today than what it was, say, six years ago? Uh, first of all, it's much more electric. Um, well, that was kind of an aberration even at the time, the acoustic stuff we did. I think the big thing is, is um, probably six years ago, was, it was right before James joined, and, and which uh, it's just a band now, and it really wasn't a band mm -hmm. at the time. It was probably more, uh, you know, I don't know. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> we just see you musicians. You know, I mean, you know uh, <laughs> the torture is over. Yola Tango is going to play for us when Edgewise returns. <laughs>